Tim, welcome to Watch One, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the IWC GST Retropont, reference 3715-23, 43 millimeters in brushed and polished stainless steel. You can see this IWC GST Retropont and buy it on our website, watchyouwant.com. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now you can see on my wrist, 16.9 millimeters thick, the watch stands tall, proud, and strident. Against the skin, it's the image of the classical IWC utility watch. No frills, all thrills, everything you need and nothing you don't. Now, my wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference, so 6.3 inches for those using imperial metrics. The bottom line is the fit of the watch is secure, but it has a lot of stance. The lugs flare out broadly from the case flanks, and being that it's an automatic winding modular retropont, it is very Thick, but what it is is also comfortable. You can see that the bracelet, in addition to being a beautifully finished piece, is also functionally outstanding with broad channels beneath each individual link. It won't pull hair, it won't pinch skin, and it has a little bit of a rounded bowl shape to the case back, so it does nestle into the skin a bit, and that pairs the height slightly. But being realistic, I'm wearing a dress cuff today, and I often use the dress cuff comparison to describe how the watch will fit with formal attire. If your sleeves are relatively short, don't worry, but you're never going to get a tight cuff to clear that bezel. And that's okay, because with 120 meters water resistance, a tough automatic winding caliber inside, and a no-holds-barred sports watch intent, this watch is really designed for utility and rugged good looks, and it delivers on both counts. Now, 43 millimeters, you can see IWC aesthetically devotes almost all of that to the dial itself. The ratio of dial here, a beautiful white with red, white, and blue accents. The dial in relation to the bezel is a high ratio. It's almost like you've got this little silver halo surrounding it, but it's all watch face, extremely legible. Now, it is a retropont, so I'm going to start up the conventional chronograph and show you what I mean when I say that this has red, white, and blue accents because the split seconds hands, you can see the split second hand being red and the primary chronograph seconds hand being blue, give you a little bit of a sort of American theme going on, perhaps appropriate given that IWC was founded by an American in Schaffhausen. Now, aside from the dial, the bezel, and the case, the bracelet deserves special mention. I've already talked about its finish and its ergonomics. You can see the contrast of the brushed and polished portions, the subtle taper of the links, but I also want to talk about the clasp which kind of speaks to the attention to detail that old school IWC watchmaking lavished on items like a deployant. Now, single swing arm deployant, it does have a trigger release, and you can see that release trigger right here, but engine turning inside, you can see that there's brushed finish on the top, an embossed or impressed IWC logo, and when closed, very low in profile, actually blends straight into the bracelet for a different kind of tool watch bracelet aesthetic. Normally, the buckle will sort of protrude upwards and look like a separate unit kind of standing out from the links of the bracelet here. It's integrated. It doesn't break up the aesthetic flow. And because on the interior, IWC showcases one of the great innovations of the GST model line, the fully modular bracelet. You can see the push buttons that allow each individual link to be removed. This watch can be sized very precisely with the ability to take out any one of these links and, if you please, any one of the links on the opposing side, you can get an excellent fit so that when you're wearing this watch on the wrist, in spite of its height and its weight, it's always going to sit secure. Now the dial itself features a number of planes. Like the bracelet, it has a lot of nuance. There are those color tones that I mentioned earlier and I wanted to emphasize the red, white, and blue, but now I want to emphasize the depth. You can see that from the bezel, we step down to an outer 0 to 60 calibration. Now, this can be used for chronograph seconds primarily because there is a proper minute track inboard. And when we step down to that combination hour and minute track, you can see that there are applied and double faceted rhodium plated hour indices, and they add a luster and a sort of brilliance to the dial in severe light. But we step down once more. To get to the inner dial itself, and each of the three subdials is itself inset into that main dial. The window for the day and the date each features an individual step, so the apertures are progressive, not severe. 
there's a lot of subtle detailing going on here, and the dials were a highlight of the GST line. Now, from 1998 to 2005, there were many GST variants, but the Rattrapon in particular was a relatively short-lived model, featuring in the catalogs only from 2001 to 2004. Now, the example you see here is definitely one of the most intriguing. There were some fairly exotic dials in this series. Blue metallic, a sort of bronze salmon, a ruthenium-plated version. The white with the blue and red accents was one of those exotics, so this is a fantastic watch from a collector's standpoint. Not just IWC as it used to be before, shall we say, celebrity overload, oversized watch overload, and the advent of the fashion tool watch. So it's not just that this watch has that old school charm, but it also has a unique dial. Even within the IWC GST range, the white with the red and the blue accents is a standout and a collector favorite. Now inside, you have an IWC caliber 79230 automatic winder. Based on the value 7750, IWC has elaborated this one pretty much to the, to the limits of that core 7750 DNA. It's unlikely even its inventor, Edmond Capt, would recognize it at this point. First and foremost includes IWC's proprietary Rattrapont mechanism, designed by Richard Habring when he was a watchmaker with IWC in the early 90s. It was one of the great complication innovations of the last quarter of the 20th century, a way of making a split-second chronograph, heretofore essentially a bespoke high complication that would have to be commissioned from a great watchmaker, it became serially viable and rugged enough for use in a sports watch with Habring's innovation. Furthermore, IWC replaces most of the going train of the watch, the mainspring and mainspring barrel, and fits its own regulator to the 7750 after enhancing it with the Rattrapon. So in almost every respect, right down to the cosmetic finishing, this movement is very much IWC's own, but it does retain the hallmarks, the best of the 7750 base caliber, because you retain highly efficient unidirectional winding. The 42 to 44 hour power reserve means that with the unidirectional winding system and high winding efficiency, if you wear this watch daily, it's essentially never gonna need to be topped off. Furthermore, the hacking feature of the watch, and I'll demonstrate that now. I'll stop the chronograph, reset everything, and I'll demonstrate that when you unscrew the crown, you can see the constant seconds at 9 o'clock. Now I pull the crown, constant seconds stop. You can synchronize the watch to a reliable, precise reference time, such as an atomic clock. This is a very mechanical watch. The mechanical look, the mechanical feel, the tactile pleasure of using that IWC Rattrapont mechanism, and the crisp click when you pull the crown to its outermost detent and hack the seconds. This is the pleasure of a technical timepiece made in Schaffhausen. The sensation of using it, the pleasure of wearing it, and the beauty of seeing it on your wrist. It's not classically beautiful in the sense that an elegant dress watch is beautiful. It's beautiful in the same sense that an engine block is beautiful, that a polished intake manifold is beautiful. It's beautiful like an airplane, functionally gorgeous, and it has a purity of purpose, form, and function that will delight traditional fans of professional style watches. See this IWC GST Rattrapont reference 3715-23, 43 millimeters in stainless steel on our website, watchyouwant.com.